Hi friends. I'm here to talk to you about how you can be a helper in the community. What things you can do to keep our earth clean and even keep Tampa clean. What things you can do at your house, what things you can do in places that you go. So the story is called Little Helpers. And as you see it on the cover, they're little people like you are. So little friends and they are doing something. Hmm. It looks similar to what we were talking about last week. We were talking about planting and talking about the roots and the stem and the leaves. Let's see what the story is all about. I may just be one little person, but what I do affects the world in a big way. And I see over here, there's some friends that are recycling. They have a recycling bin and they're actually sorting them by what the item is. So there's some glass bottles here and there's also some cans. And then if you look on this side, these friends are using recycled actual sandwich holders and snack bags and different things that they can use again, like we talked about with recycling. And I like how these friends are riding their bikes. They're getting exercise and they're also spending time together. When I plant a tree, oh, look at our little branch owl. An owl gets a new home. So when you plant a tree, you might just be thinking, oh, this is fun. I can plant a tree with my family and then it starts growing and then new friends get to enjoy it. These animals, I see owls, sometimes squirrels, you see them that they like to have a, make a little home in a tree, some birds in a little nest. When I pick up trash on the beach, a crab has a clean sand to crawl on. I've noticed when I've gone to the beach before that some people they have chips or they ha might have aluminum cans. They were drinking some water. They have water bottles and plastic. And we wanna make sure that it doesn't go in the water just like this friend and his, he has, it looks like two other friends too. So one, two, three friends are trying to clean up on the beach. And sometimes things just blow around. So we should be responsible and make sure that the litter goes back into the correct place. Some goes like the chips, the chips go into the trash and some things would go into the recycle we see here. We want to make sure that all the animals have a clean place to enjoy and to live. When I put a feeder in the backyard, the birds have food to eat. And while you're home right now, this might be a fun thing to do. You could actually make a bird feeder and you could go hang one up if you have a tree at your house that might need some birds to come by and, you know, relax. And you could enjoy the birds and they can enjoy the food that you have placed there for them in the bird feeder. When I use a cloth grocery bag instead of paper, that also helps the bears to have a place to climb and to enjoy playing with their family or their friends. So we do have paper bags that we said we could recycle, but there's also the cloth bags. So you can use those and a lot of stores offer those and you can put all your groceries in them and then you just bring them home and you reuse them again. The next time you go back to the store, what cute little bears these are. I love the illustrations in this book and I love how they have the little plants here and all the, it looks like a little market, the vegetables and the fruit. When I plant new flowers in the garden, just like some of you were planting the rice seeds, you could also do, you could plant some flowers in your garden if you have a little garden or you could even make one. If you don't have one, you could start that while you're home. Bees have more nectar to eat. So when you plant flowers, that provides for the bees to have some food for them to come by and to enjoy some nectar and I know that our butterflies are coming soon when we talk a little bit more about spring and the weeks to come and they also like nectar and we've used Gatorade as nectar before here too since we didn't have nectar inside of our building when I turn off the faucet while brushing my teeth there is more water for the fish in the rivers I've noticed that every page it says something you can do to help our environment, to help our city of Tampa, to even provide for animals that you might not even be thinking about, like our bees and our bears and the birds and now the fish. So when you are brushing your teeth, you should turn on the water and get a little water if you need it on your toothbrush and then put your toothpaste and then turn off the water. And when you're done, then you would turn it back on. So that saves electricity and it saves water when you decide to only use what you need. When I reduce, reuse, and recycle, there is more land for deer to run on. 
So when you make good choices like recycling, picking up litter or trash that you see, when you decide to turn off the water, when if you would like to plant some new flowers, you can use different bags like cloth bags. And if you're not sure what cloth bags are, you can ask someone in your family to show you. You can make a bird feeder. There's lots of fun ways that you can help and others and help our community like you see in the story. This one just reminds me of Mrs. Pop so much because she loves her owls, her branch owls. So how can you be a little helper in our community where we live? When we all pitch in a little, it makes a big difference to our world. So when you help, when you do something small, it helps everyone else. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story.